Okay, just set it up here. I don't see any big uh, boats coming this way yet. The hard part about this is we don't see it until we're like, past it, you know? No, so I, I, like, I, I know. We're just going to keep doing circles around. One of our sayings we always say, if you don't want to lose it, don't put it in the water. But you have to do research, so you got to put it in the water. Right? Yeah, lower, lower it in. types of vehicles. There's a remotely operated vehicle and a autonomous underwater vehicle. The remotely operated vehicles are the ones that you can move like an RC car, you can move on the spot. While an autonomous vehicle would be one that does it all by itself. It has brains of its own. Students get to go out every Thursday with our side scan sonar uh, searching for us. Bluefin is called a BP AUV which was a Navy's battle preparation autonomous underwater vehicle. This vehicle was meant to go over into the shallow waters before you send the troops in to see what the quality of the water is, whether or not there's any mines in the area, and whether or not it's safe for the troops. The Navy donated uh, two of these vehicles to us for educational purposes. It's a great learning tool for the students to get involved in uh, program missions, redesign them, and so forth. These vehicles are identical to the ones that were used to search for the Malaysian flight and back off and over in Asia, except for these are only rated for 200 meters, those are rated for over 5,000 meters. We ran it in five feet of water in Indian River Lagoon. In fact, the one that we lost is there's a mission where it's supposed to be on the surface the whole entire time. And we had changed some of our programming on it and it was supposed to go 100 yards south, take a left-hand turn, go 100 yards east, and stop. Did most of the mission, but the last minute, it dove. We're looking at uh, reflected sound waves with the side scan sonar. Um, so think of like a bat's echolocation, um, except we're doing it underwater. And we can see dense clumps of seagrasses sometimes. We can see big rocks. If there was a sunken boat, we'd see that. Um, so we can kind of see anything that's hard in the water. For instance, if a fish swims by, we won't necessarily see that because it's soft. The only thing that will reflect off of it is like its bone structure. It just go through the flesh on the side scan sonar. There are two here, Mark it. So they all, the students get to learn all the techniques of uh, doing a search and recovery and using all the latest scientific equipment to find it. I'd like you guys to go out every Thursday from now until the end of the summer semester. 